who is a character you initially liked, but grew to hate as the show went on. Griffith, from Berserk, if only you people knew. We know. Andrea from The Walking Dead. First time I've ever yelled at the zombies to stop fuckage around just eat someone. Andrea's characterization was both an insult to the actress and the comic character. Andy from The Office. I was so upset with his character development as he went from an annoying kiss butt to a really likable and funny guy, to then just a butthole again and it made me so bad because it felt like lazy end of seasons writing. It was just like they needed a villain and Andy had nothing better to do. Him and Aaron should have stayed together. Piper from Orange is the New Black. If she just wasn't so smug about her panty business. Dean from Gilmer Girls. He became such a bitter butthole as time went on. I get it but still bow out with some class and dignity. It doesn't help that season 1 Dean was making references to Russian literature and season 2 Dean's like der what's a books. It's like they deliberately started writing him dumber so he'd contrast with Jess, whose bad boy image seems to rest on him pulling sprightly pranks. Chuck McGill from Better Call Saul. I would be remiss to say that I totally bought into the whole watching out for my brother's best interest shtick in the first appearances in the show. But the way the last season ended where he recorded his and his brother's conversation and the events leading up to it made me believe that even though he did save Jimmy from a long time in the correctional system, he had no problem shutting down any iota of success he would accomplish. Total control freak. Oh, it started in Teletubbies season 5 episode 36, Catch the Ball, when Poe and LALAA play catch with a ball, you can just see the contempt for the other actors in Poe's eyes, she's just phoning it in, it does not help that LALAA dominates the scene then kept throwing the ball too fast, it makes me question if that was the director's intent, to make the scene so brutally violent, or did the actors just take it too far, then in season 6 episode 24, Wait for it, the Teletubbies wait for Tubby Toast to be ready and for the Tubby Phone to be answered. And really, then Dipsy does the Tubby Phone dance? WTAF. Please, I get it. Poe is the rejected orphan, the runt of the litter who has to scrap for every meal and every dime. But for her to roll over and let Dipsy do the Tubby Phone dance? That was the very last straw. Poe should have stood up for herself and done the Tubby Phone dance. It just makes sense. I'm scared this is real the Martells. How they went from the viper kicking butt to we are snack hiss hiss was truly an achievement. <laughs> Margaret on regular show. For me, it's Doug from House of Cards. At first I was like wow this guy gets crap done, I can respect that, but after that whole Rachel fiasco, could never look at him the same way again. Yes, he started off compellingly pragmatic in the same way as Underwood, and even when he first started interacting with Rachel, his creepiness was sort of sympathetic and explainable. His evolution into weird obsessive stalker was not enjoyable to watch. Cyril from Archer. At first he seemed like the nerdy underdog trying to get out from Archer's shadow, but then becomes just a whiny loser. Who bangs every woman and lets Archer raise his baby. Peter from Heroes. Like seriously dude get over it you are not gonna save the world you just frick it up more and more. Felicity Smoke. She can die in a hole now. Sheldon Cooper. In the earlier seasons it was kinda believable, although obviously scripted, but he soon became a caricature of himself, very irritating and forced. Also Bernadette. She was cute and nice at the beginning but now she is kind of just mean and controlling. Britta from Community. Initially she was this cool girl in season 1 but by season 5 her character just seemed to be trying to keep up with the comedy of the other characters. Britta was flanderized into being the dumb one. Troy was kinda dumb, but more naive, whereas Britta wasn't naive but just not smart. Sila from Heroes. They just wouldn't let him die for good. Wesley Crusher. I started watching the show and I was a kid myself, so I identified with him, but as it went on I really started to hate the kid, especially since he was some kind of boy genius and it just wasn't believable. Now Will Wheaton, I think he's a great guy and a fine actor, a shame they didn't allow him more depth or to just act like his own persona, they got it right with Jake Sisko in DS9. Yeah we all hated Wesley, you should watch the documentary with Gene Roddenberry's son where he makes the suggestion that the Wesley Crusher character was a projection of what Gene wanted for his own son, 
but never got. Pretty messed up actually. The pardon mighty girl from Dexter season 2. Leela. Never liked her. She just got worse and worse. Suki Stackhouse. She was always kinda annoying but she was the main character so you had to like her, right? Then at some point you realize she's freaking retarded and causes all of this crap and the show would have been way better if she would have died in like season 2. More like as I grew old. Jerry from Tom and Jerry. Growing up made me realize he's the butthole always bothering Tom and starting the fights. Poor Tom. Such a nice kitty. Hanon girls. I can't stand her. Or any of the other characters for that matter. Anymore. Stopped watching a few seasons ago. But specifically. Frick Hannah. I never liked any of them. I think that's the point of the show. I certainly hope no one likes those characters. They're awful. Jack and Kate from Lost. The only character I wanted to be okay was Desmond. Clay Morrow from Sons of Anarchy. Mine would be Jax. I grew to like Clay more and more because at least he was honest about being a piece of crap, whereas Jax thought so highly of himself despite being the same as Clay. Phyllis from The Office. Started off as a sweet old lady type of character, but ended up being this huge undercover bee by the end. Couldn't stand her when she tried acting tough. The corrupting influence of Bob Vance. For me it's Elizabeth Keene from Blacklist. I blame the show and how it shoved her romantic life down our throats last season. The show and her character were so much better when it was just about her, the FBI, and Red. Clara Oswald from Doctor Who. Started off as a very intriguing character but ended up just sort of being there to whine and complain all the time. Didn't even bother watching the most recent season. Though I'm told it's actually pretty good, so perhaps I'll give it a watch soon. Oh my impossible girl. Loved her at first but then they tried to make her this godlike character making her the most important thing in the goddamn galaxy. Debbie from Shameless. Alan Harper from Two and a Half Men. Both Sam and Dean from Supernatural. After like 10 seasons and you suckers are still doing the whole I'm keeping an explosive secret and acting shifty and not trusting you thing. You deserve each other you goddamn dysfunctional buttholes. You live for this horse crap drama you always complain about. Ah yes, the good old dysfunctional brothers shtick. Still going strong for 12 goddamn seasons lol. Coral from The Walking Dead. I've wanted him to die since season 2, but instead he became a dank meme. I love that you don't even call him by his real name. Nurse Jackie. I loved the show and its other characters, but geez she burned like every possible bridge with every person in her life throughout the show. Sadly, it's an accurate depiction of addiction. Serena from Gossip Girl. Worf from Star Trek. Watching him repeatedly shove his son off on his parents and deride his son's every life choice was painful. He treated Alexander like crap, when he wasn't just ignoring him, anyway. At one point in DS9, Wolf accuses Jaja of thinking he'd be a bad father. Well, Wolf, maybe that's because you already are one. Lily Aldrin. Oh yes, to be fair to her, everyone except Marshall devolved into a hugely unlikable caricature of themselves. Marshall was still a caricature, but his basic personality was that of an extremely, overly nice person. So he remained like a vaguely sympathetic human being while his friends turned into cartoonish sociopaths. From the book The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime, both parents for me went constantly back and forth. Mum left because she couldn't handle the autistic son, but when he came to visit her she tried as hard as she could to help him and ends up getting kicked out of that home for wanting to keep her son there, forcing her to take a crappy job to afford a one-room apartment for her and her son to live in. The dad got stuck with the difficult child, so I can't blame him for getting angry once in a while, but he seems somewhat emotionally manipulative, especially when he gets the kid a puppy at the end. Ruby Rose female Justin Bieber from Orange is the New Black. Her character was so pointless, she had no personality. She was just there as eye candy and to stir crap. Ross from Friends. In the beginning, he is a bit of a dorky scientist with some relationship issues. As time goes on, we find him to be an overly controlling douche who, in no specific order, gets caught making out with Chandler's mom, cheats on Rachel, after his obsessive controlling nature drove them apart in the first place. 
He gets caught making out with Joey's girlfriend. He says the wrong woman's name at the altar of his second of three total weddings. He berates others for challenging his point of view. He condescends to Rachel about her career, while expecting her to take a keen interest in his. He has to be the world's worst father, with one kid almost totally disappearing from his life and another being used as leverage to try to dong block Rachel. Kunato from Knights of Sidonia. At first I thought oh, he's just the typical anime rival character. Plus his white hair is kinda cool. I might like this guy. Spoilers for Knights of Sidonia. Then he turns their entire space colony against the main character and has his girlfriend killed in a stage accident. All because, boohoo, he didn't get a cool giant robot and the main character did. When the season ended, he was depressed and locking himself in his mansion. While the main character earned back his lost respect and honor. It was the only time I've ever had schadenfreude for an anime character. Tree Trunks was just another adventure time character but Jesus Christ the more I see of her, even in reruns, the more I wish she'd just get slain by the lich. She's like the self-centered old woman you have to deal with who thinks everything revolves around her and the younger people ruined everything. She literally can't do anything useful. She just fricks around at home making pies hoping people like them. And they do. The pies aren't half bad. But that's it. They don't really like her. They like her pies. And they tolerate her as a price for said pies. Other than that she's a bland character who's a tumor in the list of good characters. And her stupid voice too. Ugh. Tree Trunks sucks. Ragnar Lothbrok. Though I must say that the hate fluctuated with the stupidity level of his hairstyle. Long haired Ragnar. Awesome. Zagnif hair Ragnar. Total tool. Shaved head Ragnar. Kind of a dong. Shaved and heavily tattooed Ragnar. Less of a dong but still. Bald Ragnar with an epic Patrak beard. Awesome again. Fiona Gallagher. I like the show and the character but she's a real piece of crap sometimes. Floki. He becomes less likable in the show, but at least the reasons for it are sound. Floki is the vikingest of the vikings, and really doesn't like all this mingling and negotiating with christians. Diane from Cheers. At first, she was okay, a bit pretentious about her education, but I found it cool that she had so much majors and stuff, but then she got annoying as heck, and I was glad to see her leave. You've been spotted by the doggo of studying. Like this video for good grades for the next 2 years. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.